Hey, what's up? It's me again, Trogue Pro. And we're going to talk about what is VirtualBox, when to use VirtualBox, and how to use VirtualBox. So let's go ahead, jump into my computer, and let's start doing it. Alright guys, before we jump into that configuration and installation on how we're going to use the VirtualBox, I just want to show you a quick overview of this VirtualBox so that we have a common understanding of what we're trying to achieve. You try to see it here, I have Windows 10 already installed on VirtualBox, this is an example, and also I have an Ubuntu that is running at the same time on top of my main OS, so both of these ones are running on VirtualBox. Okay, let's just say you're a student, you want to learn about Windows Server, Ubuntu Server, Red Hat Server. Now just use VirtualBox and don't worry about additional hardware. You can also play around, mess around. Something goes wrong within VirtualBox, just delete the virtual machine and reinstall it again. Maybe you want to have the latest update of Windows 10, but you are not sure if it's going to affect the programs you are using. Make sure that there's nothing affected before using it in production. So that's the power of your VirtualBox. Now let's go ahead and get started installing and configuring this one. First make sure you have the operating system you're going to use. For Ubuntu, if you want to do Ubuntu, you can visit their website and then download the OS you want to use. You can download it there. Now I have already downloaded this one so I don't need to download it. You can go ahead and download if you want to. The next one you're going to look into is your Windows 10. Google is your friend. Just go ahead and search for that one and you can get a trial version for it if you want to test Windows 10. Of course, the third one is your virtual box and Google is your friend, just Google that one. This is a free download, it's open source, no license needed. That's why it's being used by a lot of people because it's free. Now, you can select which OS you are using here so that you can download for us. It's actually Windows, so we are going to click on Windows, host. We'll just wait for a bit. Now it's done, we're just going to click this one and then run. We're just going to go for all the defaults here, so we can just go and click next. And we go for next, next again. And next, yes, of course. And we're going to install. And then wait for it again. Let's fast forward this one so that it will be finished right away. Install. And then, of course, we're done. Finish. And then your... Oracle VM VirtualBox is already up and running. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we need to create virtual machines so that we can install the operating system we have. So we click for new. We're going to put the name here. We're just going to put Windows 10 for this first one and then select the type. This will be for Windows. So click on Windows and we're going to go for 64 bit or 32 bit, whichever you have there. So you press next. So here on the memory size, just make sure that you're going to use only 50% of your overall memory. So for me, I have 8 gigabyte RAM on my laptop. The design here is I'm going to use 2 gigabyte for my Windows operating system on VirtualBox and another 2 gigabyte of memory for my Linux. So if you're going to run both of those ones on your computer, they're just going to use 50%. The other 50% would be used by your main computer or your physical hardware. If you want to install more operating system, just make sure that if you're going to power on those virtual machines, make sure that there is leftover for your physical device. The next one we have here is your create a virtual hard disk, create, and then VDI, we go for next, and then dynamic or fixed, we go for dynamic. Now we need to set the directory where our virtual machines are going to be saved. Windows 10 folder, create, and then we're going to set this one 25 gigabyte and then create. Now the virtual machine is done. We're going to set the OS that we're going to use and start installing Windows 10. Now scroll down and look for that storage section and then we're going to look for the image of the Windows 10 we're going to install. This is currently saved on our desktop. So there you go, image Windows 10 open. And then we can go for start. Now VirtualBox is going to load that one up and initiate the installation process. It's like installing a Windows 10 on a physical machine. So you can see there next, install now. And setup is starting. We can skip this one because this is a trial version. We don't have a key. And then we can select which version we want to install. Next. Accept the terms. Next. 
upgrade or custom we go for new apply yes of course okay and then next we'll fast forward this one so we're not going to wait this is a normal installation for windows 10 just showing you how you can install this one on a virtual box that was quick it's very fast installation of windows 10 restart and then we're going to wait for this one to boot up again just don't press any key here it's loading up okay skip this one again we do not have a key use express settings just a moment we're just going to wait i'll fast forward this one again so that we're not going to wait for a very long time and then it will reboot again okay next who's going to use this pc we'll just set it here test virtual go for next hi this won't take long actually it's long that's why i did a fast forward <laughs> okay let's start that's good all right there you go let's go ahead and check this one out refresh this one try to minimize this one minimize virtual box you can see this is the virtual machine of windows 10 that we just installed so there you can see it it's running on top of my main operating system and we can actually do anything that we can really do in a physical machine here on this virtual machine let's go ahead and install ubuntu we're going to make it a little bit quicker put the name here will be ubuntu and then type would be linux of course ubuntu 64 bit next and we can set this one to 2048 mb that's actually 2 gigabyte of ram next same setting here create virtual hard disk now next and then vdi next dynamically allocated next ubuntu folder and 10 gigabyte of space next and then we are going to set the image that we're going to use that's ubuntu ubuntu open and then we can start now virtual box is going to load this one again there you go virtual box ubuntu is loading we're going to do a bit of fast forward also install ubuntu we can select the language you want to use continue uh, we can uncheck this one so that it's not going to take time we can continue also erase entire disk install now and then continue and then this will select the time the location we are in and then we can continue it's time to put our name and some information we have here so we can continue the installation okay this ubuntu is going to install now we're going to do a very very fast forward here so if you are installing this one uh, this is not how fast it is uh, we only fast forward this one so that we're not going to wait too much time so if you want to post it you can post this is already done we are going to restart this one ubuntu is already restarting it's going to load up and then here we go ubuntu is there we're going to switch it up there you have it and then it's running at the same time running with windows 10 at the background now i hope you have learned something from this video if you have uh, questions just comment down below if it's your first time in my youtube channel you might want to consider subscribing and if you like my video just give it a thumbs up and until next time again this is Toroki pro and see you in my next video goodbye